Hey guys, Fenno here. Today I wanted to give you the truth behind piston timings. So here's a little de demonstration on how you can use piston timings to your advantage. And this uses a sticky piston, a redstone block and three redstone wire to create a very, very short pulse on both edges meaning on both activation and deactivation. Now this was made by one redstone sheep. I will link to his channel and the video right now in the corner of the screen. So you can check it out if you want. And now I'm gonna take this apart. So by that I mean I'm gonna investigate how this works and explain it. Now, basically, this uses the concept that a block is transparent when it's being moved by a piston. What I mean by that is I am going to slow motion this for you so you can see that what is actually happening to the redstone. So slow motion active. And as you could see, the redstone here was off for a very short time. And, but there was still a redstone block next to it. But when a redstone block is moving or any block is moving, it becomes transparent. So in the slightest time, which happens to be one and a half tick, it is not there so it's being moved at that very moment and when it's being moved it doesn't conduct a redstone current so the redstone current get, gets cut here and one and a half tick later it ends up right here meaning or causing it to power the redstone again and send another signal to the torch so it's right here now And now it's there with one and a half tick and then it's back off again or back on the redstone dust I should say yeah so let's move on to insta wire right here and insta wire is one of the weirdest things in redstone when you begin it you might you might wonder what the hell's going on here now it's actually quite easy to explain with the knowledge you have gained from this device you should now know that it takes one and a half tick for each piston to fully extend to where the block is in this place so it's actually here at first so in this position one and a half tick it's nowhere and then after that one and a half tick it's in this position so that's used right here that also happens when you retract it so that it was previously here then it was one and a half tick gone and then it's here okay so the moment it is gone it doesn't conduct redstone current as mentioned now we use that here where if we turn this piston off this redstone block moves from here to here therefore unpowering this piston right this piston then begins then isn't extended anymore by this because this block is nowhere technically and then this block becomes nowhere as well same for this one, same for this one, same for this one. This is used to travel redstone across vast distances as long as it's still in render distance. And it's instant. 
So here's a quick little recap. Unpowered, a piston is just in this state. It's not, not extended, the block just lies on top of it. After the first one and a half ticks of powering the piston, the block is nowhere to be seen. Okay, so the glass blocks resemble that there is no block in either of these um, of these places. And after that one and a half tick have passed, the block is extended in his last position. So right on top there or horizontal or however you have your piston faced. This works the exact same with both sticky pistons and normal pistons and I really hope this helped I think there was some confusion going on in the community so yeah I hope this helped and as always thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time Thank you.